idea from David the Good. So whenever we put the ashes on the yams and let them dry a little bit, then we will put them in the ground and supposedly that makes it grow a lot better. So we're going to see what happens with this. If you'll stick with us and come back, we'll see what how this works out. So stay with us. Okay, so as you can see, this is the yam root. And you can see this has been laying on the counter for a while, so it's starting to grow. It's got these little nodules as we call them all over the outside of it. So it's already starting to try to do something about getting, uh, about growing some more. So we're going to cut this thing into four pieces. We've chosen to do four. And these things are very hard. <laughs> okay. They're like a potato inside as you can see. And they have the white flesh in the middle. So then we'll cut this thing into another piece. Didn't cut that one exactly even, but it's okay. Cut this one and try to get this one a little bit more evened up. Okay, so now, so now as you can see, we have four pieces. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take some ashes from a fire and put them on these cut sides and then we'll set them out and let them dry and then we'll put them into a pot uh, of dirt and let them grow. So let's uh, see what happens. Okay, as you can see we've got our yam cut into four pieces here. We have the wet sides of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these ashes that I've got here Take a little bit of these out, and we're just going to stick it on here, like this, on all four sides, or all four pieces rather, like this. Just coat these with these ashes real good. Make sure they get covered real well. So I think we got this pretty well done. They're pretty well coated here. So now we have our four pieces here with the ashes on them. What we're going to do is we're going to let these dry. I believe the suggested time was a couple hours. So we'll let these dry for a couple hours and we'll come back and see how they're doing. And at that point then we will put them into a pot of dirt see if we can't get these things to grow. So stick with us and let's see what happens. Okay, we've got our yams drying. They've been drying for several hours now, actually, with the ashes that we put on it earlier when you saw it earlier. And so let's go see what happens with those. We're going to get them into a pot of dirt and see if we can get those things growing. So uh, stick with me and let's go see what happens. Okay, back here at Hideaway Homestead, we're going to continue with the planting of the yams that we talked about a little bit earlier. This time we're going to put them in a pot of dirt. We have them cut into four pieces, and we've got the ashes on them like we showed earlier, and they've dried out, so we're going to put them in the pot and see if we can get these to, uh, things to grow. What we're going to do is we're going to put all four of these in the pot together. We'll try to space them out around the sides so that they're all right, all right up next to each other. Get them like this. There we go. Okay, then we're going to put a little bit of extra dirt in here on these, cover them up, that should be plenty right there, ok, 
okay, got them all covered and everything. So now all we need to do is add a little bit of water to them and we should be good to go. So we'll see what happens with these and maybe we'll come back at a later time and show you the progress. We're going to continue the planting of these yams that we talked about earlier and getting them into the pots and getting them started growing and everything. And you'll see now, once you see them again, how fast they've grown. And I think it's only been like three weeks or something since we planted them. So now we're going to put them into the ground and let them grow up some of these trees out here. So let's see if we can get a hole dug right here and see if we can get these in the ground. There's a lot of roots and stuff in here that we have to dig through under these oak trees to even get to the dirt. And as you can see, these yams have really taken off. So we're going to put one of these in here right here and hopefully try to train these long parts right here to grow over to this tree and catch hold of the tree. At least that's our goal. So let's see if we can get these planted in here in this spot. And then we'll come back and water them real good. And that's all those roots. See, we don't need all that so we can get rid of that. Too. Okay, so now we got this one into the ground and we can uh, move over to another tree maybe and get one more. We got one more here to put in the ground. We can move over to another tree and get this one put in. Okay, we're continuing to plant the yams out here. We've got one on that tree over there. We're going to put one here and we got one more to go on this tree on this side. So this will all become part of the hidden food forest that we've spoke about in some of the other videos. These trees out here have a whole lot of vines and things, wild vines, that grow on them already. There's some of them over here that you can see. We have to pull these up to get them out of the way. They actually have thorns on them. So we have to get these out of the way so we can put stuff out here. So the fact that we will have vines out here growing on these trees is really not going to make any difference as far as anybody else passing by here is going to uh, be concerned about. They won't even notice because there's already vines here. So we're going to go ahead and put one in the ground right here. And as you can see, this one's growing quite well also. So we'll get him in here. Some of these roots out of the way. These oak trees have a lot of root structures in them down by the ground that we have to cut through to get to the ground to actually find the dirt. So we'll put this one right here and these little long tentacle things that are growing on the top right here will attach themselves to the tree and grow up the tree and eventually they'll be all over the place in the trees and nobody will even know they're there. So we got one more here to put in the ground and we'll probably put this one over here on this tree and then we'll have all these in here. So let's uh, continue on with putting these in the ground. Okay, this is our last yam we're going to plant in the, in the ground right here next to this tree. We've got the others in the ground on the other trees around close by here. And again, this is part of our hidden food forest. So the idea is to put these in the ground around here and let them grow up these trees and nobody will know what they are. Anybody driving by is not even going to pay attention to these because there's all kinds of vines and things growing on these trees to start with that are, are not necessarily good vines. This one here has thorns and they bite. <laughs> so um, anyway, so we're going to get these planted in here and we will be able to get some good food from these for our hidden food forest and hopefully they will do well and continue up the tree. Maybe we'll come back at a later time and revisit this again and see how the progress is going on their, their growth. So, hopefully you learned something from this and this would be something that you might be interested in doing if you're interested in the food forest idea. And uh, you can uh, get some ideas from this and start your own. So, we appreciate you watching. And if you know anybody that's interested in this sort of thing, please pass our name along to your friends and neighbors. Have them to look at our videos and see if they can learn something too. And remember, give us a thumbs up, and at the bottom of the screen, there's a subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button. Here we are again. This is just a little small competition we thought we would do. 
we're going to see if you can spot all five of the food forest th items that we planted in here. So look on the video and see if you can find them. 